Okay, so the question says draw a single line type representation of a diagram below. Now, if you check on the diagram displayed on your screen, you will see a diagram of a pipeline setting. So you have to convert this diagram in, into a single line representation. Now, if you can see the diagram displayed on your screen, you can see the double line representation and the single line representation here, okay? So it means for each of these symbols, for, for, for each, each of, this, of, of these objects, you present them with these symbols. Okay, now let's, let's start, okay? Let's start with um, the first one, the elbow there by the extreme right on top. The elbow, what's the symbol for elbow? Okay, the symbol for, for 90 degree elbow is this. Okay, so you draw something like this. Okay, I've drawn the elbow. Moving over, what do we have next? We have cross valve. This is a pipe, what's in the pipeline? Something like this. And then we continue our, uh -huh, our pipeline elongation. Okay, then coming, you didn't have a check valve, okay? A check valve. What has meant for joint check valve? Something like this. And this is just the ultimate thing. You are representing all these symbols. All these um, diagrams, you're presenting them with their symbols. That's just the most spectacular thing about um, pipeline. Okay, so after the cross, after the check valve, you then have a um, coupling there. Okay, and the symbol for coupling is this. And then we continue our connection. After the coupling, you have a cross plug. First of all, you have a cross. Which is this. And then on, on top of the cross, you then have a plug. And the symbol for plug is this too. Okay? After that, you still continue your piping. And then what things do we have? We have an angle valve. What is the symbol for and an angle valve? Okay, so from from this part, you see there's an elongation here, okay? You showing here, and then you have a T joint. What's the symbol for T joint? You have something like this, something like this. This is a T joint, okay? I have T joints. What next? We have, we have a globe valve, okay? That connection here, and then we have a globe valve. A globe valve. What's the symbol? You have something like this. The blue valve. Then you continue. And then you have 45 degree elbow. And for 45 degree elbow, you have something like this. Ah, it's an angle 45, okay. And then you then have a lateral. What is this? You know, for lateral, you have something like this too. Okay, and then we have a union joint here. So then get to know we have a union joint. What's the symbol? What's the symbol for for union joints? You have this. Okay. Now they will have a reducing coupling cap. Reducing coupling cap, which the symbol is this. So it isn't coupling, sorry. And then we end our connection here. <coughs> um, mm -hmm. now if you check from here to the C and that um, elongation, you still have and that C joint here too. You have something here. We still have something coming down here, which is a cap. And the symbol of a cap is this. And then we then have a gate valve, which is symbol is this. Alright, and then coming over, coming over here, there's a globe valve. 
which symbol is this, which is here, and then you have an elbow. Now, um, a finishing touch of an elbow, it's 90 degree elbow, it's actually like this, but it's like this. That is, if an elbow is the finishing touch. And ladies and gentlemen, okay, and as you can see, this is the solution to the diagram displayed on your screen. Now, if you want to learn how to do a double line presentation when giving the single line presentation, please click on the description part of this video and then click on the link there and then get access to the video. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video. And please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, first and foremost, and then ring that bell as usual. See you in the next episode.